this is about the Doppler effect. Here is the index. I am going to talk about the definition of Doppler effect and the principle used in Doppler effect. What is Doppler effect? You are able to see the wavelength of the radiation or rays will differ based on the relative distance between the object. So this is called as Doppler effect. This is called shifting of light, red shift and blue shift. Let's see further on the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of a wave or other periodic event for an absorber moving relative to its source. It is named after the Austrian physicist Christian Doppler who proposed it in 1842 in Prague. We should mention here that one should be careful in constructing the wave fronts. If the source is moving, you are able to see it. The intensity of the frequency is more. If it is far away, the frequency is less. You are able to see it here. If there is no medium and the source moves away from the observer, the later wavefronts have to travel a great distance to reach the observer and hence it will take a longer time. The time taken between the arrival of two successive wavefronts is hence longer at the absorber than it at the source. When the source moves away from the absorber, the frequency as measured by the source will be smaller. This is known as Doppler effect. So you are able to see the Doppler effects happening in the aeroplane travel. This is called as Doppler effect. Astronomers call the increase in wavelength due to Doppler effect as redshift. So you are able to see the wavelength is increased. This is redshift and this one is your blue shift. Since the wavelength in the middle of the visible region of the spectrum moves towards the red end of the spectrum. You are able to see it here. The waves are received from your source moving towards the observer. There is an apparent decrease in wavelength. This is referred to as blue shift. You are able to see this is how the blue shift is happening and this is your red shift. For velocities small compared to the speed of the light, we can use the same formula which we use for sound waves. The fractional change in frequency delta V divided by V is given by minus V radial divided by C, where minus V radial is the component of the source velocity along the line joining the observer to the source relative to the observer. So minus V radial is considered positive when the source moves away from the observer. Thus the Doppler shift can be expressed as delta V divided by V is equal to minus V radial divided by C. The formula given above is valid only when the speed of the source is small compared to that of the line. A more accurate formula for the Doppler effect which is valid even when the speed are close to the light requires the use of Einstein's special theory of relativity. The Doppler effect for light is very important in astronomy. It is the basis for the measurements of the radial velocities of distant galaxies. This is how the Doppler effect you are able to see the blue at the extreme and red here. This is a Doppler effect.